Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another rare Class B diesel camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at a beautiful 2007 Road Trek Adventurous RS built on the Dodge Sprinter 2500 chassis, which for those of you who are not familiar with the Sprinter chassis, uh, back in 2007, Mercedes-Benz owned Dodge and Freightliner both. So you'll see the Sprinter chassis. Sometimes it'll have a Dodge emblem on it, sometimes a Freightliner, sometimes a Mercedes-Benz. But they're all, all owned at the time by Dahmer Chrysler, which is Mercedes-Benz. So this is designed and built by Mercedes. Got a 2.7 liter inline five-cylinder Mercedes-Benz diesel. Has 154 horsepower, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but you're not talking about a big vehicle. You will be surprised how nimble and quick these vans are. I mean, they, they literally can get up and go. Uh, looking around, the folks got the alloy wheels. I want to point out one thing. Uh, when it came in, the has a spare on it. That wheel was missing. I've got one ordered from our local Dodge dealer. Uh, should be in by the end of the week, so it's going to have a matching wheel and center cap to match the other three, so don't even worry about that. 21 foot, 8 inches long, bumper to bumper. Got the optional crank out awning, got the optional backup camera system, got a 5,000 pound rated hitch, 5,000 pound towing capacity. Of course, you've got the rear barn doors in the back. Got the 2.5 kW Onan LP generator. These Mercedes Benz motors are designed uh, to last 500,000 miles and go 10,000 miles between service intervals. So they're designed to last and to uh, not require as much services as some other vans use. Six gallon DSI water heater, got a 16,000 BTU duct, uh, DSI furnace, of course 11,000 BTU rooftop air. Sorry about that folks, had to do a little quick meet and greet with some of my fans. But going along with this uh, 2007 Adventures on the Sprinter chassis, looking around at folks, like I said, glass looks great, paint looks great. I always got a kick out of this because, uh, you know, as I say in my other videos, Road Trek has their trademark triple skylights. Unfortunately, they could not design them into this particular Sprinter chassis. But they still put the uh, painted ones on the outside so it looks like it's got them. <laughs> but, you know, hey, that's part of it. Got the fixed running boards. 2.5 Onan generator. It does run. I had it running, folks. But, my guys, we put new carpet in this the other day when it was really cold. And apparently they ran the furnace and ran most of the propane out. So, uh, I had it running for about 20 minutes and ran out of propane and died. So, But it does work. We've done a preliminary check on it. And everything we checked works great on it. And like I said, it'll have a brand new wheel. That was about $400 that I'll be installing on it Friday whenever it comes in from the Dodge dealer. And it will be matching with the other ones. Of course, it RS has the four captain's chairs. So you can sleep two extra people. And you've got seating for four with seat belts. And these chairs, front chairs, swivel around for party seating. These chairs lay flat, and then you combine the two to have a couple of single beds if you have to. Um, let's look inside. Of course, brand new carpet. You know, I'm not afraid to, if it's something needs carpet, I'll, I'll put carpet in it. I'm not scared to spend money on something like that wheel. You know, most dealers would just sold it with what was on it. We spent $400 and got you the matching wheel coming. So we're not afraid to, unlike most dealers who don't want to spend anything on used RVs, we're not afraid to do it. Now, folks, the backup camera has been added by a previous owner. Huge backup. Now, I don't know why you would need a screen this big, uh, but you got it, and it works. 82,310 miles, power windows work, dash air will run you out of here. Regional stereo works great. Seats look great. Um, got a curtain that goes all the way around the windshield, so you, you've got maximum cab space. And this is how good my guys are, folks. When they do these right here, look here, they even make custom mats uh, and bind them and everything. 
for the front driver's area. This is all removable in the front. It's got a rubber mat underneath it. But while they were doing carpet, they went ahead and made these mats so it fits it perfectly. Anyway, of course, that's why you want to buy one from Parkway RV. We, we really go through these things. Linoleum looks great. Got Corian countertops. Coffee maker. It's got a 750 watt Magnum three stage charger inverter, which is on right now. 129 hours on the generator. And like I said, it works great. There's your water heater igniter, uh, water pump control, test meter, and battery cut off, breakers and fuses. Everything's right there in one easy spot right above the door. Got a curtain where you can close off these windows. You've got day night shades. Um, microwave believe yep that's a convection oven so you can bake in it as well as a uh, nuke something corian countertops look great single basin sink it's got a 3.8 cubic foot three-way rv refrigerator freezer and um it's actually already getting cold i've got the inverter on so it's running uh it's running off ac power off the inverter stove top Stainless steel sink. The sink cover is not even cracked, which is very common on these, actually. Of course, I got a factory sales brochure, and you can see I'm not hiding any stress cracks in the countertop or anything. Here in the back, you've got a power sofa in the back, and you've got these two uh, seats, and this all works together to make one king-size bed. If memory serves me, it's 68 by 78 inches. And, of course... You can see the sofa works great. This table is removable. So what you do, you fold this sofa down. You remove this top of this table, set it in between these two seats right here, then put your cushions across to cover the gap. So you've got a mattress and you've actually got a, a bed a man my size can sleep in. Like the doors in the back, um, plenty of storage. They didn't waste anything, folks. Got, a, like I said, 11,000 BTU ducted roof air. And if I'm not mistaken, it's got the optional heat strip. Somebody's added a big TV in here. Um, LG TV flat screen on a swivel mount. Now, and I've seen this before. They removed the front of this cabinet. And a lot of people do that, so... They can. They got open access, and they can operate the DVD player with the remote control without leaving the cabinet open. So, plenty of storage. A little hanging closet right here, and this is another feature I like about the Road Trek, the the Sprinter ones especially, is they've got a fully enclosed bathroom. You know, a lot of the Road Treks you have to take a shower in the hallway. And I know, folks, this isn't a shower really made for everyday use. I know this is one of those things you use if you have to. But what's neat about it, you don't have to worry about getting water everywhere. You've got a shower curtain. You close these doors. You've got your sprayer. You just sit on the commode and, and, and take you a shower. Just something to use if you have to. And I know majority of you Class B, for, uh, Class B shoppers are probably never going to use a shower in them, but it's there if you need it. And, of course, you've got a little sink in here as well. And this right here is storage where you can put your toilet paper and toiletries and stuff like that without getting them wet while you're taking a shower. A little sliding lock there. Um, so I've got some really neat features in here, folks. Slide out pantry. And when you're talking a motorhome this small, every little bit of storage helps. And road trek, of course, these things are well so well engineered that there's just no denying the fact that they don't waste anything. Overhead storage there, surround sound speakers. But this is a nice van uh, for a diesel. The mileage is not even a concern for anybody that knows anything about diesels and Mercedes Benz in particular. Uh, these things are hard to find in this price range, as many of you already know. <laughs> Every one of these sprinters I get in this price range sale just, just as, about as quick as they post online. Uh, they get great fuel mileage. Uh, I mean, these things get better fuel mileage than most SUVs get. Uh, you're talking 
on average you get about 22 now I've had customers claim of course I'm sure they're driving 55 downhill on the interstate um, claiming 25 to 26 miles a gallon so I guess it just depends on how you drive it but figure 22 and if you get more than that it's a bonus that's pretty impressive folks my full-size pickup truck uh, doesn't get that well as good as fuel mileage as that and it's just about the same length as this I think this is only maybe seven or eight inches longer than a pickup truck it's easy to drive easy to park if you can drive a SUV a truck a van you can drive this motor home no problem it's peppy you to get it and go and it'll last you I mean that's the thing folks a diesel and I know people get into the whole debate gas versus diesel and there's definitely pros and cons either way you go um, now diesel if you can afford the extra money for the initial investment you've got something you can keep for years years and years and you're not going to wear it out I mean that's the thing a diesel motor is going to outlast three gas motors um, plus diesel gets better fuel miles now fuel costs more so as far as um, as far as what it costs you to to drive a gas engine 100 miles and drive a diesel 100 miles it averages out about the same but you get the longevity in a diesel and you don't have to get oil changes as often but they do cost more so like I said I can go on and on the difference between gas and diesel all day long and like I said there's pros and cons to both but fact is folks you're going to get better mileage you're getting a more dependable longer lasting vehicle so you know if this is something you're just going to use for a few months or a year and sell it <coughs> it really wouldn't benefit you to buy gas or diesel but if it's something you want to keep for several years something you want to put a lot of miles on then definitely I recommend going with the diesel quiet you know um, and like I said that air conditioner it keeps the whole RV comfortable so that's why the generator has such low hours on it because you really don't have a need to run the generator unless you're boondock camping somewhere and you can always put solar and stuff like that up as well um, you know in case you're doing some places boondock camping where they have noise restrictions uh, definitely can help with that a um, lot of things you can do folks people are buying these vans it's become a phenomenon uh, people are, are traveling cross country in them living in them uh, cup they're great for couples because it's something that either person can drive it's something that two people can be fairly comfortable in and not be driving a big behemoth going down the road and going through city traffic and all that stuff so and plus you get good mileage so you're not stopping all the time at the gas station and spending hundreds of dollars filling up um, this unit very clean very nice no smoke no pet odors you can see this is the original vinyl floor there's no stains on it not even a scuff mark uh, so obviously the people that had this van besides losing that tire or wheel took care of it I've got that wheel covered folks you know if you come here after Friday you're not even gonna see that spare it's gonna have the the regular matching wheel on it spare be mounted back where it's supposed to go anyway folks if you got any questions about this little sprinter give us a call 706-965-7929 the price 449 haggle free firm non-negotiable we don't take offers 449 is what it takes to buy it doesn't matter how you're paying for it but i'll tell you what all you get for that 449 you get this beautiful 2007 road trek adventurous rs on a sprinter chassis with 82,000 miles uh, it's already had a preliminary check we've checked generator roof air fridge uh, lights uh, obviously uh, the furnace the propane system we've checked the water system you know, the only thing we really got left to do is check the awning and, and a few other little things in it. And uh, it'll be ready to go. And we do that after purchase. And we do that, folks, so we can get these things done quick. Um, you know, and, you know, we, we obviously can't 100% pre-check these things because, well, be honest with you, they get tore up on the lot. Uh, I've customers go in and out these things and leaving stuff on and cranking up vents and leaving them open and, so we can never fully completely check them out because we're just going to have to do it again when we sell it after people have been walking through it for a couple of weeks and uh, it, you're doing double the work for the same profit oh that scared you the uh, stove top lid come down anyway folks but we try to do at least cover the major stuff so that we can knock the rest of it out fairly quickly and we can normally get 
this we could probably get this thing done in a couple of days or less ask your salesperson and verify that before you you know before you decide to buy because our workload in our service area changes from day to day depending on how many people have bought rvs in front of you and um, if you got any questions about that folks like i said our phone number is the best way to reach us 706-965-7929 uh we give you a we also purchase on your behalf a 90-day nationwide limited warranty just for your peace of mind now normally at first 90 days you're not really going to use the warranty it, it does happen occasionally but it's very rare so but you do have it just in case um and it'll help you out um and the good thing about it is since it's an actual warranty that we purchase instead of just putting an in-house warranty on it for those of you who are traveling a long distance to buy from us, it gives you options in the rare occasion that you do have a warranty claim on where you can take it. There may be a dealer that's closer to you, more convenient. You can take to them. Of course, you can always bring it back to us as well. If you got any questions about any of that, again, our phone number is 706-965-7929, and my non-commissioned salespeople answer any questions you have, give you the current lead time for a Class B checkout. They'll send you over a list of all the systems that we inspect and guarantee for the price you pay and answer any questions you have about it. Everybody here is pretty well experienced in RVs. They don't get paid commission. They get paid the same whether you buy one or not. Let me tell you something, folks. That eliminates a lot of stuff that people hate about buying a used vehicle. Nobody likes sales pressure. Nobody likes going from salesperson to salesperson and then you get you start thinking about it, they bring this high pressure closer in and sales manager and I, nobody likes that, folks. You deal with the same person. Uh, when time you get here to the time you leave, you'll deal with your salesperson. If you finance it, you'll deal with the finance manager and the service manager. I mean, it's not uh, you're not going to get shuffled from salesperson to salesperson like a lot of dealers do. You know, you can come on our lot and look. You don't have to go through a sales office, give up your personal information like other, like some other dealers require you to do before they even let you on the lot to look. And we've got 150 RVs out here, folks, and they're all open during business hours. You can look at your own leisure. You don't have to be escorted around by a high-pressure salesperson. Um, matter of fact, we strongly encourage you to come look at your own leisure. We, you know... We know a motor home is a want, not a need. And uh, we would rather you buy when you're ready to buy because everybody's adults. You know, if you have to be talked into buying something, you're not ready to buy to begin with. So uh, everybody here is an adult. Most people buying RVs have purchased vehicles before. They know how it works. Um, so, uh, like I said, we're not going to put a smoking gun to your head to make you buy. You know, if you want to buy, we're here. You know, if you just want to come look because you're curious about them, we're here for that. We'll answer any questions you have, you know, because, and this is the way I look at it. The lookers of the day that are curious about the RVs, the RV lifestyle, are the buyers of tomorrow. So it's it benefits us to help everybody here at Parkway RV Center. We've been doing this for 51 years. I love that about the, these sprinters too, folks. I actually enjoy the sliding door better than the, uh, just regular entry doors like on the front because if you're parked somewhere in a parking lot and you're, the parking spaces are real tight you can go in and out this door without bumping into the vehicle beside you so and I wish uh, my conversion van had that uh, I really missed that about the old 80s vans that they used to have the sliding doors but anyway folks we're very easy going here nobody's on commission uh, there's no surprises, no games or gimmicks. There's no haggling. We did away with everything people hate about buying a used vehicle. Uh, and nobody wants fees. All these prices are plus applicable sales tax and no surprise fees. You know, a lot of these other dealerships, you get ready to sign on the dotted line in the business manager's office or whoever the sales manager's office here comes a $800, $895 dock fee, a $2,000 inspection fee, a $2,000 freight fee. I mean, I'm just throwing out numbers, for example. Every dealership's different. They can add thousands of dollars to the advertised price in the form of extra fees. And, folks, all those fees are 100% dealer profit. Don't fall victim to it. They're, they're just 
you know, they're, they're a scam. Walk out. If they try to charge you anything besides sales tax and the sales price, walk out. You, obviously, that's not the place for you. Now, that's not including, like, if you buy an extended warranty, which we offer, or anything else like that, but uh, or, or pay for delivery if you're having it delivered somewhere. But I'm talking about just fees in general. The only thing, we keep it simple, easy, simple, and done. Price plus applicable sales tax, that's it. Make sure you ask your salesperson for a sales tax estimate. Everybody's got to pay it in some form or fashion. The amount varies by state, and when and where you pay it also varies by state and how you pay for it. So make sure you get those three important, crucial bits of information from your salesperson when you call us. Uh, get the current lead time for a Class B checkout. Get a copy of the list of everything we inspect and guarantee for what you pay and get that sales tax estimate. So there's no surprises for anybody. Uh, we also, folks, uh, we also offer nationwide delivery. Uh, give us a call for a quote. Financing is available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment is a requirement, um, and that's cash or trade equity. Yes, we take trades. We'll trade for, of course, obviously RVs, campers, stuff like that. But we've traded. I've got a horse trailer back there. We traded on earlier today. Um, I mean, we'll trade for cars, trucks, pretty much anything of value. Uh, if you've got something that other RV dealerships don't want to put a figure on, hey, give us a call. We'll, you'd be surprised. You know, if we can get a value for it, we're not afraid to put a trade-in figure on it. We've traded for guns, jewelry, gold, silver, um, antiques. We've traded for, um, oh gosh, about everything, folks. I've done, uh, we've traded for decommissioned police vehicles. We've traded for news vans. I, I could go on and on, folks. Classic cars. Um, I mean, I had a guy in here earlier. We're trying to get a figure on a 66 Mustang. So... Uh, restored one so I mean we do a lot of business and um, you know we've been in doing this for 51 years so maybe that's one of the advantages of buying from us because like these weird trade-ins that, that nobody else knows where to go on it we know where to go because we've dealt with it before when, when you've been in business over half a century you you've got a little bit of experience under your belt and uh, folks that's that's how we operate you know obviously we're doing something right half a century in business and we constantly retail five to six hundred used RVs a year. And folks, I know you can't make everybody happy with used RVs. There's a lot of buyers out there that that have used to buying, always buying new. They don't understand what used is. You know, used means like that cabinet missing right there. That's part of it. Uh, used means, um, uh, you know, if it's got a dent, a ding, a stain, or a, or, a, or a mark on it somewhere, that's because you're buying a 12-year-old vehicle. And you got to look at this thing's less than half cost, half price of what it costs new. And it's got tons of life left to it. You got to look at what you're saving for what you're buying. So, you know, there's no such thing as a light new used RV. And anyway, folks, and I know not everybody understands that, but I'm going to tell you, folks, I, I know, you know, everybody looks on the internet, looks at reviews and stuff. Folks, in the last five years, we sold. Uh, over 2,100 RVs in five years. Um, actually, 22, something like that. So take a pencil to how many satisfied customers we have when you consider how many we sold. I mean, we sell 500 a year. That's actually close to 2,500. So, I mean, we sell the fool out of these things, folks. And the reason why is simple, our prices. You know, we could mark this thing to 59.9, 54.9, like everybody else does, um, and start haggling, and then start at whatever we take off, charge back an extra fees like everybody else does. Or we can just put you right on the money from the get-go. 44.9, that's what it takes to buy. No surprises, no games, gimmicks, trouble, drama. 44.9 uh, plus the applicable sales tax. You've got a... 2007 Road Trek Adventures, fully checked out, ready to go with a nationwide warranty and much more. You know, we also give you an RV orientation when you come here to pick it up after it's been through service. We'll go through it, show you how to operate everything, answer any questions you have, show you any repairs we had to make, and uh, you can record it on your phone or camera, no problem. Uh, we also give you 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. To be used in a 12-month period. That's $1,000 worth of free camping. We give you a starter kit with all your camping essentials. We give you instructional DVD. We give you a, 
uh, drive out tag. The only thing you got to do is bring yourself luggage and food. Take it right to the campground. So uh, we try to make it easy, simple, and done. 449, we'll trade. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. We do offer what we call an option B, and most people don't take this, but I still offer it anyway just in case. You know, there's always a type of buyer, no matter how low something is or how low the price is. They still want some kind of discount, so we have option B, and option B basically is you buy the motorhome as is. We've checked the major stuff on it, but, you know, we can't guarantee anything. You don't get a warranty. You don't get a walkthrough orientation. You don't get any free camping. You get a motorhome, a starter kit, a drive-out tag, and DVD only. And you take the good with any potential bad. So, you know, if you're willing to buy one under those conditions, it saves us time and money that we pass along to you. Plus, you get the added benefit of taking it home the same day you pay for it, and you get a discount off for already low asking price. So, if you want an option B haggle free price, contact my sales team 706 965 7929. And uh, of course, email sales at parkwayrbcenter.com. I've got a huge selection of Class B camper vans, folks, probably one of the largest in the country. Um, they're on my website, parkwayrbcenter.com, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, I've made it very, very easy to visit my Class B page on my website. Go to the video description below. In the first paragraph, there's a link. Click on that link. It'll take you to my Class B page. I'm going to have a lot more, and I strongly encourage all my viewers to go to our website because I have a ton of information on there that you're not going to find anywhere else. I'll have a factory sales brochure available in PDF format you can download or print out. You read this 28-page brochure, you're going to know more about road treks than anybody. I'll have specs, weights, exact measurements, uh, tank sizes. I'll have pictures. I'll have trade-in appraisal forms. I'll have... Um, I'll also have a uh, credit applications. Uh, I have a 24-7 chat feature and much more. ParkwayRVCenter.com or if you're on YouTube, click on the link in the video description. Thank you for watching, folks. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, feel free to comment. I read every comment on there. Um, I don't always get to respond to them, but I do read them. And... Um, you know, make sure you call us with any questions. We're family owned and operated for three generations, 51 years, right here in Ringgold, Georgia. We've always been here for you. We're not going anywhere, folks. I mean, we got 150 used RVs. If you're wanting to travel to the southeast to buy a used RV, you're really missing out if you don't come by and see us. We're 10 minutes south of Chattanooga, Tennessee, hour and a half north of Atlanta. We're a mile off uh, Interstate I-75. Exit 350, turn west, mile on your left. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.